man, black women and child. When I say black, I mean all the tribes, all blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. We didn't learn how to love each other. You know why? We are being murdered on these streets and killed and everything else, not just by ourselves. You understand? Because there's two million black folks in the prison. So we're being persecuted for what we're doing. But what about the white cops? You know what I'm saying? What about, what, what about the government, society, CIA, bringing all types of drugs inside the black community? What about that? Let me get Isaiah chapter 59 verse 7 real quick. You understand? Know With the brothers bringing out extremely heavy, I'm sure you're not paying attention because you're dumb and stupid and worried about shopping. You understand? You understand what, what's going on out here in America. America hates black people. America hates Hispanic people. America hates Native Americans. Everything I said, you can hear it in your history books. They stole America from Native Americans. They stole it and gave them reservations and gave them alcohol and still put pipelines to the community. They hate black people. Why? They put heroin in the communities. They put cocaine in the communities. This is facts. You can look it up. You can look it up. This is a fact. Why? Because white people hate blacks and Hispanics and hate Native Americans. They do. I know Billy's nice to you on the job and you wear, you get croissants and coffee and mocha lattes from Starbucks. I know. But they hate you. They hate you. Some with that line, they hate your goddamn guts. How do we know that? Because this is what America is built off. America is built off the blood of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it. All you people that came from Ireland and you came from Denmark and came from Italy and so on and so on, you came because black folks built this country. Because Hispanics built this country. That's why you were able to come. That's why you were able to be here and come here. Because we built this, not you. You are a bunch of thieves. And you, you, you have no compassion in your heart. You are very inconsiderate. You're nasty and disgusting and have no manners. They have no manners at all. And you come and say, we're Americans. Donald Trump said, we're Americans. But you came here in a country that you did not build. We built this country. So-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans built this country and you came here and you stole it and took it over. Why? Because you're violent and you're nasty and disgusting. That's, That's right. why you did it. It's not because you work so hard and you're so smart. You are the dumbest people on the face of the earth. And you came here and stole something. And we're going to prove it right here in the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 7. Their feet Run to evil. Say it again. Their feet run to evil. We're going to kill all the Native Americans. Say it again. Their feet run to evil. We're going to hang and lynch and burn and kill niggas. Say it again. Their feet run to evil. We're going to destroy Black Wall Street. Say it again. Their feet run to evil. We're going to put on reservations and we're going to call ourselves Americans. Say it again. Their feet run to evil. White people, your feet run to evil. That's all you know is evil and, and being nasty and disgusting. And you have no compassion about it. You can't even say, you're right. My great-grandfather did do that, and I'm sorry about it. You can't even do that because you're nasty and disgusting and filthy. This is how we look at you. The same way you look at us being niggers and thugs and everything, we look at you being nasty and disgusting and filthy and selfish bastards. Read it again. Their feet! Run to evil. And that's what you do. Your feet run to evil. You love to do evil. If you check your history, all you do is evil. Everywhere you put your foot is destruction and mayhem and you conquer and you destroy and you rape and you murder. This is what you do. We're just telling you about it. Read it again. Their feet run to evil. And they make haste. Say it again. And they make haste. Say it again. And they make haste. You go real fast. Real quick. You're in a rush to do what? To shed innocent blood. In Native Americans. Say it again. To shed innocent blood. In the teal. Say it again. To shed innocent blood. Just right. Say it again. To shed innocent blood. All you do is shed innocent blood. That's right. That's all you do. Is shed innocent blood. People that didn't do anything to you. And you want to come and kill the 
Native Americans. You know why? Because you love to shed innocent blood. They didn't do anything to you. You were enslaved niggas. You know why? Because they didn't do anything to you. You love to shed innocent blood. The Mexicans trying to come over here to make a good living. You love to shed innocent blood. This is what you do. You won't do that with Putin, though. You won't do it with Putin. Right. You won't do it with the Russians. Right. You won't do it with them. You're too scared. But when little niggas and spicks, oh boy, you want to do what? Make case to shed innocent blood. Yeah, because you're bullies and punks. You're bullies and punks, that's why. You're bullies and punks. This is why black folks, you better stick together. We need to stay together and stay strong. You understand? An open hand is not as strong as a closed fist. And this is what we need to do, gather ourselves together, y'all. This is why, because we're dealing with a nasty, disgusting, filthy bastard. And I know, I know Car Carolyn on your job is nice, and she brings, the, she brings coffee and croissants with butter, you know what I'm saying, and jelly, and she's nice. I know that. Deep down, she hates your black ass. And she hates your Hispanic, and she hates you, and your, and your children. And your children, too. How do we know that? They used to feed our children the alligators. That's how I know that. Right. It's history. I'm not making this up. Go Google it. They used to feed our little, young, black, and Hispanic children to alligators. That's what they used to do. And guess what? The little bastards taught their children to do the same thing to you now. That's all. Keep reading. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Say it again. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. All you do is think of sin. All you think, all you do is think of how can I do wrong today? But in your mind, you're thinking how can I do right today? To us, it's nothing but sin. You're full of homosexuality. You're full of drugs. You're full of cigarettes. And this is the things you pump into our community and say we're the ones that's, that we're the ones that do it. But you're the ones that give it to us to do because your minds are full of that. That's what you. That's what you are full of. And all of you, don't think because you believe in this little white Jesus that's not true. Don't think because you believe in that that you're some holy, nice person. You're not. You're disgusting and filthy and nasty, and you have no compassion. You're full of drugs and tobacco and alcohol and some nasty, disgusting sex. You're full of it. You understand? And I, I, know, I, know, I know you don't want to hear it. I know. I know you're going to walk off and you're going to say, he's crazy, but you know, you, you know you're disgusting and filthy. You know either if, if it's not you, it's your aunt, it's your uncle, it's your grandfather, it's your dad, it's your brother. You know that you're filthy and disgusting. Go ahead. Wasting and destruction are in their path. You know, you know it's war. Oh, you know, disgusting, filthy, stinking war and how to go destroy and kill and murder and rape. That's all you know how to do. It's in your blood. And you know it's true. At least take pride in it. At least raise your hand if you know that your family came to America and killed and destroyed and raped and murdered. You know that. Don't be ashamed of it. Be happy about it. You know you white folks came over here and destroyed and raped and murdered. And you know you stole. You know that, and, and, and created propaganda. You know that. Don't be ashamed of it. Be honest. Right. Be an American. Right. Stand up. Salute your flag. Just know you're a murderer and a killer. Keep going. Verse 8. The way of peace, they know not. Say it again. The way of peace, they know not. White folks, you don't, you don't know no peace. Right. White people, you don't know any peace at all. All you know is war. You broke how many, what, over 170 treaties with the Native Americans? Right. You don't know no peace. All you know is deception right. and destruction and murder and mayhem. That's all you know. Right. And this is why the Brother Paratazai is bringing out that blacks and Hispanics, we should gather together. We should gather ourselves together. You understand? We should gather, so like the Bible says, Zephaniah 2 1, real quick. That's why we should gather ourselves together, man. Because all you know is rape and murder and destruction and mayhem. That's all you know. Meanwhile, we're divisive against each, uh, each other. But the Bible says that blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans should gather themselves together because we are not desired here in America. 
who are not desired. Am I lying? Am I lying? Don't walk away with your girl. Come on up and step up. Be a man. Be a man in front of her. Am I lying? You're nothing but rapists right. and liars right. and murderers. That's why we should gather ourselves together like the Bible says. Read it. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Say it again. Gather yourselves together. Blacks and Hispanic. Gather yourselves together. Native American. Gather yourselves together. Ye to gather together. O nation not desired. Now what? O nation not desired. Police killing. O nation not desired. CIA with cocaine and drugs in our community. O nation not desired. Ku Klux Klan. O nation not desired. Aryan nation. O nation not desired. Do I need to keep going? You know we're not desired. There's groups that's against us. The Ku Klux Klan don't like niggas. The Aryan nation don't like niggas. The white knights don't like niggas. The gay and lesbian community don't like niggas. They all against us. And what should we do? Gather yourselves together. Ye gather together. O nation not desired. That's what we should do because we're not desired. We're hated. I know you're having fun in Times Square looking at the bright lights in the big city and doing your little bit of shopping. Nigga, they hate your guts. You know what I'm saying? Spit, they hate your guts. This is what this is society. And I'm not just making this up. It's in your history books. It's in your history books. I'm not making this up. I'm just up here talking about it. But it's in your history books how they hate black and Hispanics. How they hate Native Americans. It's in your history books. I mean, goddamn, Donald Trump wasn't enough for you to understand that? The way they took over the Capitol and raided the Capitol and defecated and urinated in the Capitol, that wasn't enough to tell you that this country loves white folks and hates blacks and Hispanics? That's not enough? I mean, what else do you need? I mean, these lynching signs, that they, they hate blacks and Hispanics. They hate Native Americans. History books say that. That's fine. Let them hate. But what you should do, as much as they hate us, is as much as we should love each other. And we should gather ourselves together. That's what the Bible says. Read it again. Gather yourselves together. Say what? Gather yourselves together. Because they hate us so much. So what should we do? Try to get their love? Should we march like Martin Luther King with picket signs and beg to sit on their toilets and beg to sit and drink from their, uh, their, their, uh, their, their water fountains? Should we do that? No, we shouldn't do what Martin Luther King said. We should do what the Bible says. Say it again. Gather yourselves together. That means no more bloods and crips. Say it again. Gather yourselves together. That means no more my building versus your building. Say it again. Gather yourselves together. That means no more black women hating black men and black women hating black women. No more of that. We should do what? Gather yourselves together. That's what we should do. Raise more black families. And stick together and stay together. Raise these black children up. And let them know that you should do what? Gather yourselves together. That's what we should do. Meanwhile, let Russia and the Ukraine, let them hit each other and bomb each other. And I pray that bombs in Times Square. I pray they bomb you. All in Howard Beach and Queens and Long Island. I hope they bomb you and kill you. That's what I pray for. I pray for you white people to burn. Why? Because what you did to my people, I pray for that. We're going to come right in the middle of Times Square and tell you. And we pray that white people burn. We pray you burn. That's right. Give the white man with the bald head a hand. That's right. With your gay lover. You know what I'm saying? Give him a hand. Give him a hand. You should burn. That's what you deserve to do. Say it again. Gather yourselves together. That's what you should do, black man. And don't you forget it. We up here all day long. If you got a problem or you got an issue, come right to the front of the speaker. We'll take care of every problem you have. Sophistically. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm and blues Call this guitar smoke 
rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick, a habit that's hereditary from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom, the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?